adding a level of compression, a single band compression is a really nice idea because you get a little bit of the hug from the vintage compressor and a little bit of the sound of it. You're not typically going to compress heavily, just very, very lightly with a vintage compressor. And it actually tightens up the sound a little bit. I think one of the most important things to point out is that you need to filter the internal side chain when you're using a single band compressor, uh, especially in music with a lot of low end, like what we have here today. If you don't filter out the low frequencies from the internal side chain, what happens is the kick and the bass dynamics cause the compressor to pump or just to overreact to the signal. Again, vintage compression, single band compression is something that should be very, very subtle and very, very light. It's very rarely a dramatic thing. So very simple to set up. You can do this either in stereo or mid-side, and they both have their good applications. Up here is the detection filter where you can listen to where you're filtering. And essentially all you have to do is slide this little button around and I maxed it out. I typically tend to want to take all the low frequencies as many much as possible out of the internal side chain. It defaults to a 2.4 to 1 ratio. Sounds kind of specific, 2.4 to 1, but I think it worked for me on this occasion. You can go down as low as uh, 3 to 2 is a very gentle ratio and can be nice, but we got a little, little more aggressive. But again, we're not doing that much gain reduction here. Attack and release. Typically, we're going for slower attacks and faster releases, uh, but you can use your ears and tighten it up a little bit. If, if a faster attack tends to compact the sound in a, a way that's nice and you're not losing the attack on the kick, that's totally cool. And uh, with the release as well, you know, quicker releases, as we know, make things uh, less compressed, more bouncy. A slower release tends to make things a little fatter. Uh, and you can try to get the balance between those two. Auto gain is on, which I think helps when you're making the setting so you don't feel like you're losing energy. And it has three different modes, three personalities, sharp, balanced, and smooth. Balanced worked for me on this one. So let's, uh, let's put this into effect here. Okay, we've got the vintage compressor working nicely. Again, it's subtle, but I would miss it if it was out. So let's move on now to another dynamics tool, a much more modern digital one, a multiband dynamics tool. <laughs> 